So there are tons of people who started out in one form of entertainment and decided to make the leap into comedy. Like, for instance, maybe The Rock. The Rock is known as a wrestler and an action star, but he could be pretty funny sometimes. Hell, even Channing Tatum, who's known as like this heartthrob guy that plays in all these romantic movies, he was hilarious in 21 Jump Street. But if you're in the entertainment where you're known for doing kind of racy picture kind of things, maybe even considered pornography, there's a good chance that you might want to stay away from the comedy niche. Which brings us to today's subject, who is Amanda Kearney? Cerny? I'm not really sure how you say her name, really. And she started out like a lot of other famous people showing off her, I guess, naked lady parts. And then she went on Divine, and now she does Instagram and YouTube comedy. And I'll tell you, these videos are... I don't, I don't really know what they are, actually. So look, I'll show you what I mean. Let's just, let's just have a little gander at her Instagram here. Let's just see what we can find. So on this video, the caption says, when you go for looks, implying that she's with somebody because of his looks, and he's stupid. <laughs> Holy crap, she's crafty. You see her use that drill? She's basically building a cupboard where there's already a cupboard. That's legit. <laughs> Judging from the title of this and the fact that she's smart, I guess, because she's building a like a cabinet where there's already a cabinet, I take it that he's going to be the dumb one who's really hot, which, damn, he's fine. <laughs> Wow, he was really, he's really dumb. But not only that, but he's going to remain dumb because she just came over and solved the puzzle for him. He's never going to learn the secret to this puzzle now. And something kind of threw me off in this. When he needed help, it sounded like he said, Ma. Ma! As in like, Mom. Or maybe that's just the way how he vocalizes distress and I need help, maybe, or frustration. But if she's going for looks and he's hot and they're dating, why is he saying... Ma. And I believe that anybody could be whoever they want in a skit. If he wanted to be a baby, that's fine. If he wants to be an old man, that's fine. It'll work just because that's what a skit does. But is he supposed to be her child? And if so, then why does it say when you go for looks? Is this an incest relationship? Is this video supposed to actually portray poor brain development that happens in incest? Like, is he supposed to be like her and her brother's child. And why are they so close to the same age? Did she have him when he, she was like seven? I, this video raises a lot more questions than it does answer anything, especially about who's the good looking one in this relationship? And is it her son? So after that video gave me a stomach ache, we're just, we're gonna move on. We're gonna look at another one. This one says, happy holidays from our family to yours. What am I, Auntie Amanda? Well, your heart. <laughs> she buried him in a penis. <laughs> Ooh, that's not that's not funny. Why is why is this why is this funny? This is definitely going to be the last time this kid ever gets to go to the beach with his aunt. The main point of this video is that this kid's face is between the balls of a penis. Is this what what is this what comedy is? Is this is this it? Is this what funny is? Maybe this is just a cry for help. Maybe she was intending to make a heart and on accident she just made a penis because her idea of love is so miscued from like different people she's dated or something. So now she believes that men, instead of loving with their hearts, they love with their penis, which is accurate. So this video's caption just says, tag someone who needs it. So who knows what it could be. Ah! Oh my god, are you a rat? Yeah, I'm okay. No, you're hurt. So now she's a doctor, and Dr. Amanda has just clarified that you and you, sir, 
are indeed hurt. Just by looking at your finger, you're hurt. I know what will make you feel better. What's that? You need some ass. Oh. I need some what? Here's a random fact for you guys. The number one treatment prescribed by doctors for stovetop burns was indeed ass. Don't look that up though. You need some ass. Goddamn. How the hell you get all that ass okay. in the Oh snap. She's not joking. He's about to get himself some. So now do I get some ass? I already gave you ass. Oh. Ice. She has an accent. I I get it now. She doesn't even like let it in on you that you know she has an accent. You just all of a sudden she just has a really hard time pronouncing ice. So she has a speech impediment. He mistook ice for ass. Thought he was gonna get some. Come to find out, she just meant ice and comedy. It's awesome. I don't really know who would think this is funny because I don't really understand the comedy or the punchline in it. Like he thought he was gonna get laid and then he didn't. He mistook the word ice for ass. And now he just walks away from his burning food hoping to get more ice. Is that is that it? I'm having a hard time believing that anybody would find this funny. So I'm just going to look at the comments real quick and just see who's actually watching this and seeing if anybody actually finds this funny at all. This one says, watching this is constantly funny as hell. So it says, you're amazing, dude. Probably something my girlfriend would do, but I don't have a girlfriend. That's actually kind of funny. Like some of these comments are funny, but the video isn't funny. I don't, I don't understand how any of these could possibly be funny. Here we go. These are some real comments right here now. Least funny video I've ever seen. There we go. Who's she hiring to comment because her and Lele Pons are without a doubt the least funny people on the internet. I'm not gonna argue that one. All these fake comments. Y'all clearly know it ain't funny. This one says, that was about as funny as getting circumcised with a plastic rake. You know, he's not lying. If I watched a video of somebody getting circumcised by a plastic rake, I'd probably have the same reaction. How is this funny? <laughs> so we're going to move on now. This next one says, teamwork makes the dream work. So I'm assuming maybe some kind of workout routine or maybe they have a task to do and, you know, her and this guy are going to tackle it together maybe. Is there dairy in these? Yeah. I'm go to the bathroom. Gotta go number two? Shut up. No. <laughs> Pooping is just so funny. Okay. Can you just leave? Just leave. Don't turn off the music. Don't stop playing it. Don't. Do anything else. You can even just leave the music on, but just leave. I love that's her only response. Just leave. I'm done with you. We're breaking up over this. You don't have to turn off the music. You, uh, actually, just please leave it on. But I need you to leave right now. Johannes, please stop. I'm embarrassed. So the joke is, is that he was playing pooping theme music, which I feel like we all deserve at some point in our life. And she got so mad at it that she screamed, which forced that turd right out of there. You know who would find this funny? And probably the only people who would find this funny is four-year-olds who still think farting is funny. Actually, no, never mind. Farting is funny. It's probably like seven-year-olds who still think pooping is funny. Like this guy in this video, he's probably still portraying the same person he was in the other videos. That's probably why he's laughing at her having to go poop. You know what is funny though? Is that after all this poop humor and all this music playing and her screaming and that finally gets the poop out, we have to sit here and watch her take the toilet paper off the roll and wipe. Like we didn't understand what was happening. Like we had to see that. So let's just, let's just take a second to appreciate that. All right, guys, that's it for this video. And this was a really easy one because these were legit the first four videos that I found. It's, this was it. I didn't even have to go searching for this. I just 
went on her page and was like, what the hell is this? So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think Amanda's hilarious, tell me how funny she is in the comments. If you guys come across any other videos like these that you think I should see and I need to talk about, go ahead and send them to me on my Instagram or my Facebook page and I'll start making videos about them. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to do that and click the little bell icon so whenever I do upload a video, you know, you get notifications sent your way so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I've been starting to get an increase in subscribers, which is pretty cool. I went through like 150 to 180 in like a week, which isn't that much, but I mean, the sky's the limit for me, you know? This is empty, so. And I hope you guys have a good week, had a good New Year's, all that. You guys are all safe and seeing your families, and I'll see you guys next time. I was trying to make a rake in